So we're now in the second quarter of 2023 and it has become painfully obvious that eight gigabytes of VRAM is simply no longer enough. And I understand you probably have multiple other tech YouTubers in your feed right now talking about the VRAM issue. The VRAM issue is in fact, an issue. It is a very big issue. Let me break it down for you. We've been using eight gigabytes of VRAM on graphics cards for over nine years now. The very first graphics card to use eight gigabytes of VRAM came out back on April the 3rd, 2014, and it was a Sapphire Radeon R9 290X Vapor X GPU. That card is very old at this point, and so is the standard of eight gigabytes. Eight gigs of VRAM is simply no longer enough, and we now need a brand new standard. When the 4060 comes out, the 4060 Ti comes out. If those cards are $500 or more or close to it, and they only have eight gigabytes of VRAM, stay very far away from those cards. Right now, it is rumored that the 4070 will launch on April the 13th and it will have 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And so that will be your cheapest starting point from an NVIDIA perspective to get into a brand new card with the latest and greatest architecture and have that standard of 12 gigabytes. Now, I would say going forward, the bare minimum standard should be 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Ideally, you want 16, but at a minimum, at a bare minimum, you can settle for 12 gigabytes, but all this eight and 10 gigabyte stuff, it's got to go because it's officially no longer enough and we have plenty of examples of that. Hardware Unbox released a video earlier today showcasing the NVIDIA RTX 3070 against the AMD Radeon 6800. Now the 3070 has eight gigabytes of VRAM while the 6800 has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, literally double the amount of VRAM. And in every one of his examples, you can see that the 3070 was crippled by that VRAM. In fact, in some cases, the games would straight up crash. You couldn't even play the game at certain settings because there was simply not enough VRAM. And in other cases, you could play the game, but it was at a significantly lower frame rate when compared to the 6800. Now, one other thing to pay attention to is that not only were some games completely crashing due to a lack of VRAM or the frame rate was just atrocious, but in some cases, everything seemed fine until you really started looking at the texture quality. And Hardware Unbox was able to show that the graphical fidelity of these textures was absolutely atrocious because the 3070 did not have enough VRAM to really showcase the textures the way that they should have been. And so therefore that results in a much worse looking game. And at the end of the day, that is a worse user experience overall. You're either crashing your games, you have a lower frame rate, and or you have worse graphics, all thanks to a lack of VRAM. And so this is definitely a problem and this is something we need to start spreading within our community, making sure people know, hey, you need more VRAM. So don't waste your money on eight gigabyte cards anymore. And to top all of this off, the 6800 sells for less than a 3070 on Newegg right now, where the 3070 bare minimum cheapest option is $500. The 6800 is found very regularly below $500 with coupon discounts and free games to go along with it. And so the value there is so much better than the Nvidia card. And so right now, AMD has an ace up their sleeve, and that is the fact that they launched their previous generation of cards and their new generation of cards with much more VRAM when compared to NVIDIA's counterparts. And so right now, my recommendation would be if you're in the market for a brand new graphics card, do not buy any new GPU from NVIDIA that has anything less than 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, thankfully, you're about to have a new option that covers that with the RTX 4070 launching on April the 13th with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. But of course, you have the already existing 4070 Ti with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but the pricing on the 4070 will be substantially better at 599. And so maybe you will wanna hold out for that. Now, of course, you can also go and buy AMD's offerings. AMD still has plenty of older GPUs on the market it, just like the 30 series cards, they have the 6,000 series cards and every one of them offer way more VRAM than what Nvidia will offer you. And on top of that, you can get AMD 7,000 series cards, which start off at 799 for the 7900 XT and it has 20 gigabytes of VRAM. 20, that is eight gigabytes more of VRAM than what the 4070 Ti offers for basically the same price. And so at the end of the day, AMD does have their flaws and their problems and many things about them that I don't like. But what I will say is that they're better at being cheaper than Nvidia and they're better at offering you 
more value because they're giving you more VRAM. And so that's definitely something to be mindful of. Now, look, I fully understand that statistically speaking, you're probably a viewer who has a GPU in your PC that only has eight gigabytes of VRAM, or maybe you have a 3080 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM. Your PC is not gonna magically kill over in the middle of the night simply because all the tech YouTubers are now saying eight gigabytes is no longer enough. Don't don't worry about that, you're fine. But just be mindful that when you're playing the newest games like Callisto Protocol or The Last of Us or Hogwarts Legacy or something of that nature, these games require a lot of VRAM. Resident Evil 4 is another good example and that game is critically acclaimed. A lot of people are playing it right now so there's a really good chance that you're interested in one of these games I just listed and if so then the VRAM could be a problem for you. But all you need to do is simply turn down your settings and or your resolution and you'll be fine. A lot of these games have a VRAM measurement as you're changing settings. Resident Evil is a really good example of this. You can see in real time the VRAM usage go up and down as you're changing settings. So just be mindful of that. And if you're playing a game that doesn't necessarily tell you how much VRAM you're using, you can always use something like Hardware Info or MSI Afterburner and do a custom overlay to monitor your VRAM. And if you don't know how to do that, you can join my Discord, come ask for help. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And I'm probably gonna do a video teaching people how to do that in the near future. So get subscribed so you don't miss it. Okay, but in summary, all you need to know is this. If you're in the market for a brand new GPU, don't waste your money on anything offering you less than 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And if you already have a graphics card that has less than 12 gigabytes of VRAM, watch your settings, make sure you're watching your VRAM usage, turn down your resolution, turn down your settings, make sure you're staying under your VRAM threshold on your card so that you can avoid any type of crashing or anything of that nature. And when you eventually enter back into the market to get a new GPU, Look for 12 gigabytes of VRAM on your GPU as a minimum, but preferably shoot for 16 gigabytes if you can afford it. And that that's really about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. If you're new, get subscribed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the eight gigabytes of VRAM situation. Am I wrong? Am I right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I look forward to talking to you down below. And until next time, E-Rock out.